everyone and welcome back to another vlog. It's third and final exam day today. It's soon gonna be over. It's it's snowed. It's like a frosty snow, so I'm too tired. I gave myself an extra hour of sleep. Cause I just didn't want to get up this morning. No coffee for Ezzy today. Ezzy is on water only until or well, hydrating things only until the exam, which is at 10 to 6, so it's not a bad time. The one on Monday was at 20 to 11 a.m., which is atrocious. I'm going to do my usual thing. Um, first thing, actually, before my usual thing is I'm going to do my Ezzy bun thing. Or I might do that after. Since I've got all day, I'm not, like, in a rush or anything. Or not on a schedule, I can get everything done. Pretty chilly, chilly. Yeah, sure. Paddy's home. Paddy came home Monday, and he's still in bed. It's half eight. Um, yeah. I'm still not awake. If you can't tell. Here's all done now. Again, it's a bit wonky. Don't know why it always seems to lean this way a little bit, but it's fine. It took a bit longer this morning for reasons we won't get into, but it's done now. On to the readings. Today's reading is titled Friend Indeed, and the reading is John chapter 15. I am the true vine, and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit he takes away, and every branch that does bear fruit he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. Already you are clean because of the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself, unless it abides in the vine, neither can you, unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me, and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit, for apart from me you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is thrown away like a branch and withers, and the branches are gathered, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. By this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, and so prove to be my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for the servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends, for all that I have heard from my father I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should abide, so that whatever you ask the father in my name, he may give it to you. These things I command you so that you will love one another. Does God need us to be strong? No. Does he need us to be impressive? Definitely not. God is not wowed by our abilities. He goes where he is welcome and needed. He's looking for people who say a quiet yes to him in their hearts. Those who understand that alone we are so limited when we are empty, he can fill us and work through us. When we think we have it all in hand ourselves, there is no room in our hearts for him to work his miracles. Jesus said, you are my friends. I no longer call you servants. I have called you friends. There is nothing more empowering and no greater privilege in life than to be called a friend of the Almighty. We are loved regardless, forgiven, 
restored and befriended. I will try and have not be the next transition me shouting at the wall like it was in the last pod, but no promises. Hello! Is that soft enough for you? I am, um, as you can see, she's a bit blotchy. Maybe I should uh, blend that in before I do anything else. She's very blotchy, actually. I'm doing my makeup and stuff for the exam. I'm just about to have lunch. I was until I learned about the spots on my face. So I'm going to fix those. Then I'm going to have lunch. And then carry on with the rest of my face. I had to write like a little programmy thing for this that's like unassessed, but I have to do it anyway. I've done that. And yeah, I've practiced a bit. Just, you know. The only thing about the exam being so late, like you get to like be warmed up and stuff, but you're just waiting all day. You're just waiting all day for this thing to happen, so that's the downside. But I'd rather it be later than early after. There we go. Popping in for a quick little update because the driver's on the way. Haven't vlogged much today. Going over my exam and things and writing whatever. It's time! It's time. I'm gonna go. Vault is two minutes away instead of the bus. I can't walk in the dark in Digbeth right now. I'll tell you about it later if I remember. Anyway, wish me luck because I'll probably won't talk to you until after the exam. So, yeah, it's going, it's happening. Yes, it's back. I'm back home and in my cozies. I got my Etsy stuff on underneath. I didn't get changed. I just completely forgot. I was just shaking and nervous and everything. I don't think it went as well as it could have. But um, it's over. It's all over. It's weird. Like this exam, it's probably the one I was most disappointed in. But it's probably because it's the one I put the most pressure on like expectation i put the most expectation on it which is probably when i'm most disappointed not because it necessarily went badly i think it went quite well i think it could have gone better i think i know i'm more capable but i know that it takes me a while to warm up so obviously in an actual gig setting you've got sound check and everything like a full sound check and you can get used to the stage and everything i don't know i just did this for getting used to the stage but you can get used to the stage and figure out where you're walking and stuff i sort of had to do that within like five minutes just like get up there set everything up and go and it was uh, i don't know and it's, it's not like i've never performed on that stage before i've performed, performed on that stage lots just not in the last two years three years actually the last time i performed on that stage for anything was in first year which would have been 20 19 because 20 no 2020 because we had term two where we went in lockdown anyway yeah so this exam that's how i felt ensemble i don't think went as well as it could have either but i had not really many expectations for that exam because i don't like ensemble anyone who knows me knows i just don't like ensemble it just happened to be in my choice selection this year because a lot of the options were a bit wank in you ask me for third year options um at BIM now. So and then creative media I probably went in with the lowest expectations and it was like my favourite exam. Creative media was my favourite exam and I think it was because it's like Paddy said and I, I knew this, I thought this before he said it but you know the fact we were both thinking it is the fact that i prepared so much so hard for that exam like so stressed about it because i didn't have a clue what i was doing and then the other two exams were sort of like meh you know i'll be fine and sort of took a more laid-back attitude and that didn't really work out for me it's all about learning right it's all it's all a big learning curve life now i know that even if i think i've got it Stress, a little bit of stress is good, and I haven't really stressed about this exam until they told me that I couldn't use my other tracks. I think I think I would have done a lot better if I I'd been able to use the other four tracks because I'm a lot more comfortable performing those. They're kind of my go-tos just because I don't know. I feel like they're linked somehow, like the same same person's narrating them all. You know, I feel like there's different voices in the album, but on those four tracks, the same person's narrating it. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's what I feel. Anyway, I am going... I'm going to edit the vlog for half an hour because I don't have much left. It's not a long... It's not like a half hour one like the last one was, so that's okay. 
I'm editing the vlog before this and yeah I'm just gonna do it for half an hour I should get it done in half an hour I probably won't upload it just because you know I've had a stressful day I just want to chill exams are over exams are finally over oh I could cry it really just hit me now as I said that exams are actually over there's no more exams I don't have to do anything tomorrow I want all the exams to be over but I don't want uni to be over and have to go into the real world does that make any sense I've been in the real world for a year when I deferred it kind of sucks at least I got Paddy this time. Do you know what? I've decided that I've got till Friday to edit this vlog and nothing to do tomorrow. So I'll do it tomorrow whilst, bef just before I edit this one. Because uh, Friday I've got an Invisalign appointment, which actually I'm vlogging Friday, so I'll bring you along with me. So I'm going to have dinner now instead. I have just finished my dinner. I'm making myself a peppermint and licorice tea now, which I hate licorice, but it doesn't take that li like licorice at all. So it's just, it's just really nice. Anyway, I'm going to read for a bit now, I think. Paddy just texts saying he's going to leave in 10, so probably read till around he comes back. And then, yeah, have a nice... Chill evening with Paddy now that the exams are all done. Hallelujah! Yay! Hey all, we just finished watching, what's it called? A film. A film? What's it called? I have no idea. Cool. Something about an air marshal. Called Bill. Called Bill. It's about uh, an air marshal who got accused of being a terrorist. Basically, right? Right. Right, cool. Gonna end the vlog here on that amazing, amazing factual note that Paddy just gave us. Thank you, Paddy. It's not oh, like you right. chose the film or anything. Yeah, I didn't need to know what it's called. I just need to know if it's good. Was it good? Yes, I win. True. Okay, well, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you for watching. I know it's a short one, but I had an exam today. Paddy is a sleepy pig. He still hasn't caught up in sleep, huh? Mm -mm. Thank you for watching, uh, like and subscribe and all that, and I'll see you in the next one on Friday. See you on Friday. Bye-bye.